Hello there, Royal fans. Today's juicy headline. Director of the Burgess Group, Director Robert Oates, was responding to Her Majesty's decision that no royals would wear military dress at Saturday service. Prior to the Queen's decision, Harry was facing the prospect of being the only male at the funeral wearing a suit, having been stripped of his honorary military titles after his move, together with wife Meghan Markle and baby Archie to the United States. Critics have been quick to accuse him of being entitled in light of the controversy. Mr. Old shared, If this had a role in other members of the royal family not wearing military uniform, as would be customary in order to save the blushes of a young man who it seems has made some mistakes in his life and reorientated his home away from his country and his great and loyal links that he had with his armed forces, that is a matter of regret. The Duke of Edinburgh had been one of the last of the generation who had served in World War II, Mr. Olds pointed out. Mr. Olds warned, Harry in time will come to regret if he doesn't already his actions, which have led to the severing of the links that he had with the armed forces, something which he was committed to, which he himself had served in, and which brought him a great deal of pleasure and was a bedrock in his life. And he had helped so many other people and represented so many other injured and ex-servicemen so well. The fact that he will now be in civvies rather than his military uniform is a matter of regret that the whole country can be sorry about. Mr. Olds was highly critical of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in Moralities, a cultural virus, a book co-authored with professional Neil McCree and published last year. Speaking at the time, he suggested the prince's marriage had coincided with a dramatic change in his personality. He explained, Meghan has turned Harry from a soldier serving his country into a woke warrior. The royal family and the monarchy is a key British institution, a crucial part of both our unwritten constitution and our national identity. You might think that Harry must pine for his previous life, the charity work for disabled soldiers, a brilliant tour of the West Indies, his pranks with brother William. A prince who acted like one of the lads, but perhaps his mind has been too addled with woke subversions. Social media users struck a similar tone to Mr. Olds with respect to the uniform ban. One tweeted, I think it's completely wrong that our future kings might not wear military uniform to honour Prince Philip. It is what the Duke of Edinburgh would have expected. He was always proud to wear his own dress uniforms. All this to coddle Harry the civilian. Another added, it's precisely because they're molly coddle Harry that we are in this position. Harry has never faced consequences for his actions, which is why he's entitled, petulant and jealous. Continually blending to Harry's means, he'll continue in the same vain actions and he should feel the consequences. Wow, another harsh article just aimed directly at Harry. What do you guys think? Is there some truth there? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I'd love to read your comment, like and subscribe for more and goodbye for now.